Right, this is Jack Betty reporting live from the uh, the cul-de-sac here in uh, Nursery Road. Some bad news, folks. The the cone is gone. The cone is gone. It's away. It's no longer. It is an egg cone. It has deceased. Where is the cone gone? I can't see it, folks. It's gone. Disaster. Right, folks, I must say, there's been a lot of things coming for Rosie recently. Remember, she used to go on about, she used to go on and on about me getting my, my spinners and things on eBay. But just recently, Rosie's been getting tons of stuff. Oh, not tons of stuff. I think this, what's that? Something soft. What could it be? Something to wear, perhaps? Is it a scar? Yeah, it feels like it could be something, something wearable. Anyhow, today, folks, I've got to eat. I have to eat, man. I... Honestly, I've just not been eating properly for the last week. I'm absolutely ravenous. And I really must eat something properly, man. So, what have we got? I've got hummus. And coffee. I treat myself to coffee because I love that cafe lait stuff. That's, the, that's my favourite. If you ever think of buying me a present, folks, there you go. Cafe lait. Cafe lait. We've got some corn on the cob. And some pita bread. Yes. We're just going to kind of like have um, just a mixture of things now. I've got a couple of sweet potatoes. There we go. A couple of, couple of them. We'll stick them in the oven and bake them. I've got some some brock brock. Tender stem broccoli. Love tender stem broccoli, man. That's probably my favourite thing in the It's not my favourite thing in the world, but it is food-wise. I've got some garlic bread. It's the future. Garlic bread. And finally, what else do we have got in the bag? We have got chicken breast kebabs, folks. Chicken breast kebabs. That's that's my tea sorted. There it is. Right, there we go, folks. Bit of a mixture tonight. But I really must... I've got to eat stuff. I have to. Right, there it is. We're getting ready to eat, folks. Right, wait, I'll plug the TV in. We'll see what's on. Where's the kidoofers? There it goes. <coughs> Let's see what rubbish is on, shall we? Right, folks, we're going for nature's weirdest events. Oh, yes. Yeah, here we go. This is what we're watching. Watching nature's weirdest events with Chris Packham. He's actually pretty good. I remember him. He used to win something ages and ages ago. Britain's wildest animals or something, but he's, he's on this and he's absolutely really good. It's all about nature's weirdest events. Right, well, there we go. That was uh, nature's weirdest events, man, with Chris Packham. Fantastic program. So, way to go and cook the tea now, folks. That was um, that was amazing. That uh, nature's weirdest events. Nature's weirdest events is bro actually getting out of bed and doing something. That's a weird event in itself, hey, bro. Right, I'm going to start tea because Rosie's going to be home soon, and I'm starving. Right, folks. Have you ever wondered why? Pringles or some chips are shaped like this. Have you ever wondered why? Well, here's the answer, folks. It is because it makes for the perfect, the perfect dip. It's just awesome for dipping. Here we go. I mean, it might be this. fairly obvious to most of you. I don't know, but uh, look at that. I mean, it's just the perfect dip, isn't it? You know, and there you go. Right, folks, we're mucking about with the uh, the Dyson and uh, just putting some more of these different attachments that are, that are available. I've just done the stairs and this one here in particular, this is really good for getting all the, 
all the little diggies that are hanging about, you just go right into the uh, right into the crevices. I mean, look at this. It's like a it is. It's like a you know, it reminds me, it reminds me of a, a Nerf gun that you can just assemble together. I mean, look at that. That's just like a. It's just like a mini Hoover there. You can, we can get up to the can get up to the top of that. <laughs> I've also got uh, this one here, folks, which is like another little brush thing. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh God's sake, man. So, yeah, you can just, just do it. Do it. Fantastic. It really is. The more I play with this, the more I love it, man. It is absolutely wonderful. So, I think I'm just going to empty it now. Now, what you can also do, folks, is you can detach this thing from the bottom. Right, and then you can put this thing on here. Now we have an extendable multi. Look at that, look at it, look at it. Look at it. So I can... Quite happily now get to the roof um, just with one, one swipe. That's it, done. An amazing thing, it really is. The more I play with this, the better it gets, man. It really is just a, you know, fantastic. It is. It's like a weapon. Ah, present! Present Dyson! Yes, sir, Dyson! <laughs> Dismantle weapon! <laughs> Reassemble weapon with smaller part! Yes, sir! Hang on a minute, sir. There we go. Present Dyson! <laughs> Let's go get the predator. That's what I said, the predator gun. Oh, I love it, I love it. Sorry. Right, folks, tea, how are we doing with tea? Well, tea's almost gone. We've just got the broccoli on here now, in, in, with the, in with the corn and the cob. I've got the kettle boiling now for the couscous. The chicken's probably almost ready. The baked potatoes are in, the sweet potatoes are in. Just got to put the garlic bread in now. There we go. Right, folks, so the mystery of what was in Rosie's bag. What, what did she, I said it was a scarf. What have you actually got, Rosie? What, what are they? They're in, they're Inserts. Slipper inserts for the, for the Crocs, the new ones, because the ones she's got, as I said to her, they were, they were just, they were manky, well they weren't stinking, but they were just manky, so she's got some new ones here for her, that's good Rosie, well done, yes. excellent, so that's what was in the folks, slippers, slipper inserts. Okay folks, now we're going to get serious here for a while, um, when I was young, I don't, I don't know how old I was, when I was seven or eight or something, I had a very bad accident, a very serious accident man, when I was, um, just a young lad. I remember I was out in the street. There was about seven or eight of us playing, playing on our bikes and things. And I remember I was just beside the curb, and I was I was on my bike, but I wasn't. I was kind of straddling my bike. I, I put it down, and I was standing with my hands on the handlebars. And I don't I don't know what happened. I, I remember looking around and seeing this guy pushing another guy in a little sort of pedal car. This is back in 1970. No, maybe 1960. Which is 1970? I must have been at seven, as I said. So. He's pushing this other guy. There's no internet then, so we had to go and play. He's pushing this other guy in this little toy pedal car, and I think it went into the back of me, and, I, and the bike saddle went up and banged me on the back. Then I went forward, crack right on the right on the curb, man. Boom, like this, bang, the whole thing right in my face, man. And you know what I remember of that is bro and this other guy, the next door neighbour, running up the driveway, going Nino, Nino, Nino. I remember mum coming out, and the next thing I remember was being in the car, being sort of cuddled and getting taken up, and I was in hospital. The next thing I remember, I was in hospital, and I had this water pistol. For some reason, I had a gun with me, a water pistol. And the surgeon was going, right, we're going to have to operate now, and uh, we can't really put them under anaesthetic. So they had to do it live. We put about 10 stitches on the back. I split my lip right underneath here. So the stitches went in and I was I was lying back and getting them. And my mum said, as, as all the stitches went in, I was going, thank you. Oh, man. Oh, and I, I was horrifically, horrifically concussed because they sent me home afterwards. Um, but mum and dad obviously thought that I wasn't right. I, 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 can, I can't really remember. I remember dad holding up a pencil and saying, what colour is this? And I, I, you know, I just remember, you remember certain things, getting a box of toys and and things and lying on the settee. And, but, you know... It was a very, very serious accident. I had to go back to hospital. They had to send me back. And I remember I had to lie there and uh, I tried to get some a drink of Lucas Aid in the middle of the night. And the night nurse shouted, Oh, hey, put that bucket back. And I was like, oh, 
I just want a drink. Move your stay still. So that was my uh, my hospital uh, hospitalization story, man. A very very serious. I think I was pretty serious, man, because it was concussed, and I was I was back in hospital for about two two or three days after that, uh, just to get watched and looked after. Um, yeah, so I think I'm I'm still traumatized by the whole thing, man. You know, I don't know, um, but yeah, it was very. You remember, you remember things, don't you, from your past? And I was always, I was always the accident-prone one. Bro always seemed to be skipping around and never hurting himself, whereas I was always in, you know, falling in rose bushes and things and tripping over and it's just doing stuff, you know, and always being in, uh, being in, um, in trouble and things as well, you know. So anyway, that was my accident, folks. Thank you for listening.